We have developing news tonight involving General Motors. Those faulty ignition switches, allegations that they led to deadly accidents, drivers losing control of their cars. Tonight, the automaker agreeing to settle in the case of the wrongful death suit of a young woman whose case started it all. ABC's Rebecca Jarvis tonight. Tonight, word of a settlement in the case that exposed a deadly defect in GM ignition switches, a problem that led to 2.6 million recalls. 29-year-old Brooke Melton, who died in March 2010 after the ignition switch on her 2005 Chevy Cobalt, slipped out of the run position, causing the car to lose control and crash into a creek. Her mother telling ABC News last year. NHTSA knew about it from General Motors that there was um, a car stalling and they didn't make it right. There were all these opportunities that came up and she died and she didn't need to die. It was only after Melton's case that investigators began putting all the pieces together. Dozens of deadly crashes linked to a faulty ignition which could shut down the car and its safety systems, including the airbag, unexpectedly. As early as 2001, some inside of GM found a problem with the ignition switch. And Rebecca's with us now. There were many other families in this case. What about them? GM has set aside $400 million. David paid 172 families, and we anticipate many more to come. All right. Rebecca Jarvis with us tonight. Thank you.